Cool. Can't these guys die? <clears throat> Stop at once. No. Oh, the goddess. <laughs> Obeyed. Yes, of course. They're Aura's knights. Are these the pursuers Obon mentioned? Are they the guardians of the system? Yeah, they are. Then that means they were after anomalies in the system of the world. Yeah, like Ida and you. <laughs> they were after Ida and Ovon. I. I beg your pardon, but are you? Kubia is the shadow of you Epitaph users. So you know everything already. You've used Ina's PC as a vessel. Aura, were you the one who brought about Fidel's prophecy? If so, then tell us. Tell us how to save the world from Kubia. <sighs> Great goals are always fulfilled through personal sacrifice. Personal sacrifice? You mean Ovon? Or... Do you mean we should abandon our Epitaph user PCs? I get it. If Kubia is the anti-existence of epitaphs... The man who used the epitaph of rebirth... ...has already been lost. Even if the remaining seven epitaphs were sent back into the world... It wouldn't work? I am the one who remains asleep. I have no power to decide the future of this world. The future of this world will be decided by you players of the game, by people. The future of the world lies at the ends of human will. Uh, hello? <laughs> Acquired empty skies? Eshakite's weapons? What's this? <laughs> Why? Okay. Well, I don't mind. I am Aura. I am the Twilight Goddess that brought about this world's dawn. Yet once again, the Twilight of the Gods has come. You who seek light in the Twilight, you who are like me, the little children of Morgana, may you find happiness. Aina. Aura. She's gone back into the world, into the vast sea of data. We can't stay here much longer. Head back to the Serpent of Lore. All right. Man, it's been a long time when, you know, when we last locked out. <laughs> Kubia's consumption is faster than I'd predicted. Most of the players have begun logging out, having sensed something unusual is going on. At this rate, countless towns will cease to function. 
I see. If we have business in a town, it may be best to take care of it now. Hmm. Let's head back to the Serpent of Lore when our preparations are complete. So it seems like there will be... We've got to take care of our errands in town right now. Let's head to Raven's at home when we're done preparing. Okay, I see. So we will not be able to get into towns for a while, it seems like. I'm debating whether I should... I don't think I am... Like, my level is not high enough yet to defeat the... The beast, I think. The, the sealed beast for, you know, upgrading my avatar weapon again. I mean, I guess I can try. Yeah, I guess I can try it once and, you know, if it's impossible, I'm not gonna do- Oh! <laughs> well, um, never mind. <laughs> that we'll have to wait for another time, I guess. How's my awakening doing? Oh, it's almost level 3, okay. Okay, okay. Well, let's, let's do what I can here, like, let me try to make some space in my inventory, let me sell a few more items. <sighs> well, I guess not, because Gaspard is like, I don't know, I guess he thinks he's allowed to just be offline. And not sell my items. Like, what's going on with him? How could he? Okay, let me sell some of these shitty things I don't really care about. Oh, uh, I'll keep these just for trading purposes later on. Don't care about these charms. Okay. Damn, dude. A plus five simple fortunes. It's, it's almost like only half the price of a stupid fire pill. And it's just worse. Like, look at this. It gives me 50 fire resistance, but it takes 20 water resistance away. So it's basically a boost of 30, right? And now look at this. <laughs> look at this. Like... <laughs> How is the other one supposed to be better than this? This is like uh, 150... 155 resistance bonus. Oh well. I guess let's sell it. People want to be stupid, so... <laughs> Let them be stupid. Oh, I guess it's uh, okay. The price is mostly because of the um, the customization item in the thing. So okay, that makes sense. Hmm. 
Okay. Should be enough. I mean, I can still use the... The warp points in dungeons, right? Actually, maybe maybe there are no warp points where I'm supposed to go now. I don't know. Okay, so yeah. Let me take... No! I don't have any party members, so this is useless. Nah, nah, okay. Let's just go to, to Raven's at home, I guess. It's fine. I will be making a safety save right here, though. Just for the case of, um... You know. If stuff gets really shitty, and I kind of want to go back to the... To the normal game with uh, taunts and stuff. So, let us save right here. Saved. Okay. And now let's go to Ravens at Home. see what we are getting ourselves into here. Probably nothing good. It seems Kubia is consuming all of the servers. Awesome. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's no safe place left in the world. <laughs> Master Yada, your orders. We will take shelter in the outer regions. Let us prioritize the safety of Epitaph users. Outer regions? A place that is and at the same time isn't the world. The Net Slum. The Net Slum. That's what I said. <laughs> We'll have to move directly to the net slum from here. We've already sent Kuhn and the others ahead. The general PCs who are still logged in have also gone to the net slum. This place won't hold much longer. Let's begin. Commencing transfer. Mm, so, okay, I see. I see how it is. Basically, we, b we will be stuck in the net slum for a while. <clears throat> it's time for us to abandon GU's base of operation. Goodbye, Serpent of Lore. Huh. So that was Aura. The world's ultimate AI. I never thought that I'd ever get to meet a deity. Yet we did. In spite of that, Aura had no intention of coming to the world's or the network's salvation. Perhaps that's because Aura is now a system without a voice. You mean like a natural system? Perhaps just an aloof system. Aura flows along with the world. She is as the world is. Calling her a goddess and worshipping her image is simply the way humans chose to see her. Maybe that's the reason why Aura decided to leave the cathedral's altar. Do you mean there's no longer a way to exterminate Kubia? Let's try to think of other strategies. Kubia's effects. Due to the server difficulties caused by Kubia, town transfer is unavailable. Here we go. <laughs> However, by using the Netslum Chaos Gate, you may bypass towns and transfer directly to areas on other servers. 
Furthermore, please be aware that server difficulties have revoked all quest inquiries you have accepted. Oh, well, damn. Let's see at home. Okay. Can I give these guys flyers? Probably not. No, doesn't look like it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go to the... Pri oh, look, it's Wise Grunty. Is this the Serpent of Lore? I've moved the bare minimum of the Serpent of Lore's systems here to the net slum. Look at this! Zelkova, you can use the Serpent of Lore? Of course he can. <laughs> Zelkova's skills are equal to mine and yours, Pi. Kubia has already reproduced and overtaken the world. And that's not all. Kubia's influence is causing an excessive strain on the entire network. Necrosis is occurring in areas of lower tolerance. Hmm. At this rate, the network will lose function and eventually shut completely down. Well, that's some amazing news, yeah. as this always. This is the year 2017. <laughs> if the network dies, people's lives, cities, even countries won't be able to function. Now... What's this? All of the nuclear power facilities throughout the world. Oh yeah, the meltdown, right? Operations at all of them have become abnormal. Mm. What? There's danger of meltdown. They are currently trying all methods to regain control of the systems. However, at this point, no effective means have been found. If this continues, there will be meltdowns. Oh no! Uh, meltdowns? All over the world? You may not wish to believe it, but yes. Doesn't that mean the whole human race is in danger? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Then this truly is the third network crisis. Humanity has taken its first step into it. All of this is because of Kubia. Zokova, can you locate Kubia's main body? I am presently searching for it. However, it will still require a little more time. The real problem is all the Gamoras. Even if it's completely pointless to attack them, if we were to leave their multiplication unchecked, then... then humanity itself could face unimaginable peril. Let's fight him. You want us to take that mess on one at a time? I mean, do you want to wait? Way? Yeah, right. <laughs> Until we find where Kubia's main body is, we've got to defeat the Kubia Gamoras. Shino. And Alcade. And the other lost ones. All of them are still here. We're the only ones that can save them. And still, we haven't done a thing. We haven't fought against the anti-existence. We haven't fought Kubia. As long as there's something I can do, I can't just sit here and do nothing. So come on, everybody. Let's fight. Let's fight. In order to do everything we can do right now. <laughs> yes, a sale's right. Well then, I'll ask the general players to give us some backup. So that we can defeat the Kubia Gamoras that have spread throughout the world. Well, we are short on manpower. Do you suppose they'll do? Besides, most of the players logged out when they started to see that something was wrong. Let's try it! 
Even if we can only get one person to help us, that'll still be better than not doing anything at all. Come on, everyone. Let's do everything we can. Don't you agree, Haseo? Yeah, let's do it. I'll make the arrangements. I believe this is going to take some time. So please, look around the net slum in the meantime. Alrighty. It's gonna take a while to get the general players together. Maybe we should look around the net slum and prepare for the fight with Kubia. About at home, Canard and the Serpent of Law have been moved to the net slum. You may enter at home from the door facing the plaza. Additionally, moving to the net slum has made it possible to perform cheat alchemy. Oh, I see. Okay, so let's let's find out what cheat alchemy is like. You guys, after you a okay? cutscene. <laughs> Haseo! Haseo! Hey, that terrible monster is causing the world to I don't know what all of this is, but things are getting pretty bad right now, aren't they? You could say that. The world's in danger right now. You guys stay here. Right, got it. Hey, I'm gonna open a guild shop here. Hope you use it anytime you want. Haseo? Saku. She's back. Uh. Uh. So, uh... You're back. And, uh... Stupid! Huh? <laughs> Maybe you thought you won me over with that stupid email, but you so did not! I'm only adventuring with you again because they're so hopeless. Of course. <laughs> Just consider yourself an extra to Master N and Bo. You got that? Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what was that noise? Well, she seems happy, so whatever. Zelkova said he'd ask the general players to be reinforcements for us. Maybe I should log out and check my email or something. Yeah, we'll do that, but not before we get some more money. Yeah. Yo, oh. hey, welcome back. <laughs> uh, you woke up at 420? Dude, 420 plays it? Awesome. No, dude, 420? That is really early, what the fuck? <laughs> Why do you wake up so early? You shouldn't. Well, I guess you had to. <laughs> Okay, let me check out what this cheat alchemy is like. About cheat alchemy. So Koba's modifications have made cheat alchemy possible. Cheat alchemy, unlike normal alchemy, uses cheat codes to power up equipment. High level equipment requires more cheat codes for cheat alchemy. You can also alchemize equipment with rarity of 5 using cheat alchemy. Ooh. Doing so will add a cheat level to show the degree of the power increase. Oh, okay, let's let's try to find out what that is. Okay, so I cannot do that for these guys here, but I could do it for the Huh. Oh. see oh I see how it is okay so I can basically plus an item without having uh, a second one of it so that means I can increase the power of like really rare items as well Hmm. I'm not sure what I should be using it on. Probably the guns, but 
have. I'll probably save it up for now. Yeah. I'm gonna save it up. Sometimes you just wake up at 4 to 5 a.m. Oh, why don't you go back to sleep? <laughs> Can you not fall asleep anymore after waking up? Okay, let's lock out. Notice of Emergency Maintenance Dear Haseyu, thank you for regular patronage of the world. Currently there have been network issues in the world due to server issues. <laughs> network issues due to server issues, <laughs> what the fuck. We are currently undergoing emergency maintenance to, res to resolve this issue. Due to this maintenance, all quest data from the time of the case to now will be initialized. Please challenge these quests after the maintenance has completed, if you have taken up on these quests during this time. We apologize for this inconvenience, thank you for your understanding and cooperation in regards to this matter. To all who love the world. Hello to all the players of the world, I am Selkova, Guildmaster of Moontree. You may be surprised to receive this mail, but this regards something very important, so please read through to the end. I'm sure you are all aware of the abnormal phenomena occurring in the world at present. If we leave this phenomena alone, the world that you all love so much will be destroyed. Please everyone, please lend us your strength so that we can save the world. CC Corp's volunteer supporters have told us that by defeating bugged monsters called Kubia Gomora, we can cause the situation to quiet for the moment. That's pretty clever. <laughs> Kestrel and Moontree have heard this and are already exterminating the Kubia Gomorrah. Haseo and his teammates, who swept all three ranks of the arena, are also lending us their support. Please fight with us, everyone. Help us return the world to its proper state. Finally, let me present a message from Haseo who has taken the initiative in supporting us. Let's fight. We haven't even done anything yet. If there is anything I can do, I must do it. So let's fight this, everyone. I hope that you will offer us your support. Damn, it's a pretty good email. <laughs> I get it. Zelkova can do stuff like this. Yeah, that's pretty smart. I'm back. Dear Big Brother Haseo, Saku just said she has decided not to vanish anymore. Did you talk to her for me? Thanks. I like you a whole bunch, Big Brother Haseo. Glad that all worked out, Bo. Yeah, I think we did a good thing. All right. Planning meeting. I called on the general players for support and a whole lot of them showed up for us. Right now, those volunteers are, uh, are stopping the Kubiago Mora infestation in various areas. Now then, Haseo, we mustn't let this chance go to waste. Let's go take out Kubia now. We are going to have a meeting to plan our strategy soon, so hurry to the bridge in the net slum, okay? So people came to help us out, huh? Thanks everyone, at long last. This is the final battle. But it isn't anything like when I went after Triage all by myself. Alcade, Shino, and Ovan. I've got friends to fight alongside me. All right, everyone's waiting. Let's head to the Netslum Bridge. Damn. It's getting so epic. It's getting so epic. Oh, I see. Okay, good night, dude. Have a good, uh, have a good rest, and don't try to don't try to wake up again so early. <laughs> ah, okay, they're talking about the email from Sarkova. <clears throat> Pretty cool. It's rallying up all the players of the world. A lot more people have been quitting the world recently. Huh. It's pretty sad. It makes sense though. <laughs> like, I would probably get the fuck out of this game if, you know, stuff like that would actually be happening.
Has anyone logged on? No, you can't. <laughs> oh, wow. My friend said they were able to connect, so I thought maybe other people could as well. I'll copy some of that mail here. I logged onto the world. I'm in a weird town. There's weird PCs here. That's what they said, at least. <laughs> yeah, I guess his friend suddenly... I don't know, for some reason he got into the net slum. And he was able to log in. Famous guild shop employee. Of course. <laughs> it's a pretty cute picture. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Our world. That's cool. It's a picture of uh, the Chaos Gate at Doldona. All right. All righty. Let's get to the bridge and get our mission briefing here. They're having a strategy meeting on the Netslum bridge. But unfortunately, guys, <laughs> that will have to wait for another time. Yep, it is pretty late, so I'm going to stop streaming for now. Um, tomorrow's Friday. I will be back tomorrow, for sure. Same time as always. 9pm CET, 12pm PST. And yeah, we are gonna continue with Dot .hack and... I don't know, maybe we are actually going to be able to complete the game by tomorrow? Uh, I'm not sure. Like, not sure how much is left, but... You know. We're getting pretty close to the conclusion here, I think, so... Alright. I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.